Oksandra Janku. I'm a designer and architect and a professor in the Bachelor of Design here in IA University. I'm also one of the three co-founders of 50 Super Real, which is a studio focused on a multi-scalar spatial strategies where what drives us is the harmonious marriage of human values with technological innovation. We strongly believe that humanity has evolved by creating and collaborating with tools that made it possible to achieve great evolutionary jumps. When we created Adapta, we were doing just that, responding to a pressing social need brought onto by the pandemic with contemporary and innovative tools. Adapta is, in short, an algorithm that generates the design and constructive documentation of emergency hospitals in mere minutes, based on inputs like space available, expected users, and typology of the hospital. Here at IE, I teach design skills in the first term of the first year, so in many ways it's one of the early contacts the students have with the holistic design practice. It's a course dedicated to deciphering and mastering the process of design, from researching, identifying problems, to prototyping solutions, all through the spectrum of collaboration. The subject follows IE Liquid Learning Model, which makes it an active, collaborative, personalized and applied learning experience for my students. In order to do so, I approach the classroom with a similar mindset of my studio work, mixing social values like sustainability and impact with digital tools that can be used to address these same issues. We took advantage of the hybrid format in class, where some students are in the physical campus while others connect to remotely, in order to first expand our flexibility when we approach the projects and secondly to expand our collective understanding of collaboration. The atmosphere in the classroom is always of seeing technology as another member of the team that can add value to the project and that can be interacted with naturalness. The results speak by themselves, giving students the ownership of their own design process. They have collaborated in working groups for three months to develop projects that are a quest for new sustainable materials, a research on new ways to reuse everyday objects and create objects that respond to previously unaddressed issues and emerging behaviors. From the outside, it's not always obvious that the teaching process actually involves a lot of learning. I promote a collaborative classroom environment where I work alongside my students on their projects. Their questions constantly challenge my own views and methods and push me to dig for answers I wouldn't have gotten to otherwise. So I'm absolutely grateful to my younger peers for unknowingly taking on this role that enriches my own design, learning and teaching mindset.